Hi guys, Lucy aka The Watch Bikes Diaries here and today I have the Oris Pro Pilot X. Want to hear my thoughts? Come on then! So this piece was kindly loaned to me by the awesome people at Francis and Gay, so thank you very much for the uh, little loan. I've been dying to get my hands on this piece because I think it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different for Oris. Now I've enjoyed some of their more recent releases, but this one is one of the ones that really, really caught my eye. Um, I really like the colourways that they've chosen. So you've got your grey, your blue, and whatever shade of pink this is. There's a massive debate going on. Is it coral? Is it salmon? Is it pink? Just normal pink? I don't know, but it's a really cool shade anyway. Um, the main bits of it that I really enjoy are the bezel. So it's just really interesting. It's engine? No, it's not engine turn. What even is it? I don't know. But it's a really cool looking bezel. Um, it fits really well with the case shape. Um, the dial itself is actually quite a matte dial, um, which can look a little bit flat sometimes. So you have to really stare at it or, you know, get your macro lens on or really just eye the piece up um, and then you get to see that lovely texture that is on there. Um, the bracelet is pretty cool as well, catches the light nicely. Uh, I love the clasp, love it. Um, it's a pro pilot, got a pilot seat belt clasp, pretty cool. Um, it does make me think of holidays as a non-pilot person, um, which I really, really need to go on soon. Looking at you, time to loom, we need to go on holiday, we need to go to Italy or something. Go on adventures. Um, yeah, so that's what it makes me think of. Holidays. It's a 39mm and it looks like it would wear quite big for a 39 but then you actually pop it on the wrist and somehow it just curves really nicely and actually sits a lot better than it expected on the wrist, which is always a winner um, with a bigger piece like that. It's great that they're playing with materials, but also it's so easy to put marks and fingerprints and things on this watch. Like, you will polish it constantly. Um, or, if you're not that bothered, no problem at all. It makes it a lot more of a lighter piece. But I leave fingerprints on all of my watches all of the time, and this would really get on my nerves. So, in that respect, not so much for me. But then again, it does wear a lot lighter on the wrist, so it kind of depends what you're into. And also, it is a bugger of a piece to take videos and pictures of again um i know it's not a big deal for most of you but for me i need to make content and it makes it really difficult when all you can see is reflections um, and i guess my last kind of gripe would be that i'm not sure how this piece is going to age so you get some pieces that are kind of classic and you think oh yeah like they're going to be cool in like 20 30 40 years time um in fact, I'm pretty sure I said it about my PRX, but I'm not sure how this one's going to age. Um, but then again, I also said that about their bronze candy floss range, and they're still pretty cool. So, yeah, maybe in 10 years' time, I'll do another review on it, like a re-review, um, and see how the world feels about the uh, Pro Pilot X in 10 years. And that is it. Um, this piece gets a majority thumbs up from me. It's a really cool design. I love the clasp. Love the fact that it's an open case back and love the bezel. Not sure how it's going to age, but that could be a video for 10 years time. As always, please make sure you have liked and subscribed and feed the algorithm gremlins for me. And let me know your thoughts down below in those comments. Do you like it? Do you hate it? How do you think it's going to look in 10 years time? What colour is that dial? Let me know, and until next time, bye.